Hey guys, Steve here from the TurtleFollower.com with the stock market outlook for the week of September 15th, 2014. Doing this video Sunday night and it looks like the futures opened a little while ago and we're down another seven and a quarter points about, you know, on the S&P and 15 on the NASDAQ and 59 on the Dow. So we're going to go through each one of these real quick, uh, just kind of give a little update of where we are, where we came from, what we've been looking at, and see uh, see what happens this week, see if we can get any type of idea of what kind of market we're going to have this week, if it's going to be choppy or trending. But if we look at the S&P 500, we've talked about the past few weeks it consolidating in this box here uh, between 2000 and 1980. Everything was looking good with that analysis until Friday when we broke down out of the bottom of that box and we closed below at 1975. And then, like I said, Sunday night, the futures are down another seven points. It looks like to me that we are putting in a very, I, I, I don't know if you would call it systematic or controlled uh, pullback. So it looks like if you redraw this channel here, we're coming back in. I think we want to test this 50-day moving average. We're coming right back into wrong tool. The previous support or previous resistance area from this previous consolidation around here. So again, very controlled. I think we're putting in this nice channel coming down. 50-day moving average is right here at 1960 so you know maybe what happens is we come back to 1960 we consolidate we break out higher and then we eventually make a move above that 2000 level now obviously 2000 was a very round number a very logical number for short-term traders to want to take some profits you know maybe put a few stops in or a few uh profit targets in right below that level take some profits so let's see how this acts this week i think right now it's very controlled although you know we did lose a, a significant portion of the portfolio gains uh this week i still think that we are in a controlled pullback here i don't think it's anything more than that um and let's see like i said how that reacts when we get around that the uh the 50-day moving average and the, the trend line there and let's see if we can break potentially this downtrend line from this channel to the upside and then see if we can move higher. The NASDAQ down, like I said, 15 points right now, Sunday night. You could see also on this one, this one looks like it's starting to break down from the bottom of this small consolidation. Right now, the top of the previous consolidation, the resistance is lining up perfectly with the 50 day moving average. So this one looks like it has a little bit further further to go. We've talked about uh, over the last few weeks, the NASDAQ is definitely the stronger of the three major indices, um, and then the S&P and then the Dow. So you could see that right here. I mean, the NASDAQ is still has a potential to close back within this box tomorrow, uh, and then that would negate any type of move that we're having today, uh, this evening. And if that's the case, then obviously it's still in a consolidation where the S&P has pull back if you see here on the yellow trend line it looks like this 4,000 level could potentially be a good point where we would come into and bounce and right now 4100 is acting as significant resistance for us on the Nasdaq and YM the Dow futures again similar to what we've talked about with the S&P looks like it's very controlled at this point okay if you draw these trend lines in and draw this channel, you could see how we're coming into that channel support, kind of moving down. Again, 50-day moving average is right below it. We were looking at the consolidation being in this area through here, and again, everything was fine until Friday when we finally got the close below 19 or 16,900. All right, so we finally got that close. Again, right now down 58 points in the Sunday night session. And 
I think for right now, as long as we stay within this channel and are, are pulling back, it's very controlled until we either break out above the channel or below uh, and put in some more violent pullback like we had back in here on the end of uh, July. So for right now, again, similar to the, to the S&P, I think we're in a controlled area. We're coming into that 50-day. Let's see how it acts and see if we can get a bounce off the 50-day and an eventual break of the downtrend line that we have. The last one that we're going to look at is the Russell. This one, again, if you look at the weekly chart, it has been consolidating for the better part of the year, even into the end of last year. 12.09 is the breakout point, and 11, about 1,100 is the breakdown. But if we remove these drawings down here, You can see what's happening now is we had the uh, the pullback, then the move back to resistance, pull back again, put in a higher low, and now it's a higher high. So I'm looking at this as almost more along the lines of a symmetrical triangle, where potentially it is consolidating, but it's not necessarily in a rectangle form. Maybe it's going to consolidate between these two points or these two trend lines and then eventually break out higher or lower so you know the the, the Russell's really not giving us much as far as direction but the other two short term I would say the S&P and the Dow are signaling uh, a more substantial pullback the Nasdaq depending on how it closes tomorrow uh, that one could also be indicating that we're starting to pull back as well and again, everything seems very controlled at this point. No panic selling or anything like that. So I think uh, I think that this is maybe more of a short-term setup that's going to lend itself to a nice breakout and a move higher for the rest of the year. But again, just a prediction, and we'll see where it goes from there. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps gauge some of your trades for this week. Again, the Turtle Follower uh, model portfolio does not use the market to enter our exit positions, but we do use it to kind of gauge our expectations with the, with the positions as to, you know, if we should be outperforming the market. You know, I talked about in the recent post that we underperformed the market, and that was of a little bit of a cause of cause for concern, considering the market was only down one percent. Uh, we had a lot of stocks that got hit hard this week, so you know, it's just something that I use to gauge the the performance. And uh, really, that's it. But, you know, other people use it to enter an exit position, so that's why I offer it. But uh, that's really it for tonight. I hope you guys have a great morning. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you on Monday night for the strategy session. Please also, all the new members, make sure you follow me, Stock Twitch, Twitter, Google+, and subscribe to the YouTube channel to get all the future updates uh, so you don't miss anything. Have a great rest of the day, guys. See you later. Thank you.